All right, group B, we are on Bible 18. All right, and um, I think I was gonna give you guys an announcement, but I completely slipped my mind. So let's go ahead and just begin to read together. Make sure you follow along with your finger or ready with what? Your pencil to circle. After many years in Canaan, because remember what happened, God's people went and they found the land that God had promised them full of what? Milk and honey. And was the land empty? No, there was people there. So God had the people go around and walk how much times around the um, town? Seven times. And on the seventh time, they blew their trumpets and they yelled praise to God. And what happened? The walls came tumbling down. So now they were able to take over the land. So let's see what happens. After many years in Canaan, the Israelites stopped obeying God. Can you imagine that? After all this that God has done for them, they just stopped listening to him. That's not very wise. So God allowed the people of um, Midian to take over the land. So the Israelites had the land, and now other people from another tribe came and took over the land. The Israelites had to live in caves. Finally, they asked God for help. So finally, after being disobedient and after being mean and rude and living the way they wanted to, probably not by the Ten Commandments, then they what? After people took over them, then they were finally like, oh, okay, God, we messed up. And now they want God's help. God sent an angel to Gideon who was threshing wheat. The Lord is with you, the angel said. Go and save the Israelites from Midian. So who did the angel go to? Gideon. Kind of rhymes with Midian. <laughs> All right. Lord, Gideon said, I will put out a piece of wool tonight. In the morning, let me find it dew, let me find dew on the wool, but not on the ground. Then I will know that you will save the Israelites. So even though an angel appeared. Can you imagine seeing an angel, what an angel would look like? I have no idea what an angel would look like. Maybe you can do that as a project. After Bible today, maybe you can pull out paper and try to imagine what you think an angel would look like. All right, but after an angel appeared to Gideon and said, you will save the Israelites, was Gideon convinced? No, he still wanted what? He still wanted God to give him more signs. So he got a um, piece of wool. It's like a skin of an animal like for clothing, and he put it on the ground. He said, okay, God, if you really want me to do this, make sure that the wool is um, it has dew, but not the ground. That means make the fabric wet, but everything around the fabric will be what? Dry. The next morning, the wool was wet, but the, and I'm oh, sorry, yeah, but the ground was dry. Give me one more sign, said Gideon. Can you believe that? God sent an angel to Gideon. He even what? He even did some um, a miracle for him, and he still needs more convincing. I think Gideon's a little stubborn. The next morning, the wool was dry, but the ground was wet. So the next morning, it was opposite. The wool, it was like getting this paper and putting it on the ground, and the whole ground's covered in water. But what would happen if this was on the ground? It'd be wet, right? But this was all dry. Can you imagine that? Let's turn the page. Alrighty. God gave Gideon a small army of 300 men. Each man had a trumpet and clay jars with, torch, um, with a torch inside. So they had what? A trumpet. Doo -doo -doo. And what else? A clay jar with what inside? A torch inside. So that was like, hmm. It was like a clay jar. It's like a cup. They'd probably make their cups have clay. And then they had a stick with fire, as you can see in the picture. Um, at night, the army made a circle around the camp of Midian. So the army, what? Were they loud or quiet? They were probably really quiet. With what? Their torch? and their trumpets really, really quiet. 
The army blew their horns and smashed their jars as they shouted, A sword for the Lord and Gideon. The noises and torches scare the people of Midian. They ran as fast as they could. So what? That loud noise. So the men were what? Sleeping. And then they woke up to really, really loud noises and shouting and jars being smashed. And they got what? They got scared. So what happened? Who was with Gideon? God was. All right. So I like that story. Go ahead and circle your multi-letter phonograms several times each. Several times each. <laughs> if you can find them several times each, then go ahead and circle them several times each. Make sure you're still watching your daily um, phono complete phonogram video and also your daily sight word video. Right? That's really going to help you here. Okay? Great job.